Hi there, I'm Chilton Webb, the creator of Glycon. Glycon is a motion capture platform that uses your VR headset to allow you to very easily and quickly record motion capture data. And then you can export that and you can use that. What was that? It uses your motion capture data and lets you export it to your game or your, your rendering, whatever you want. It basically creates an FBX file. If you use FBX files, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't use FBX files, this is going to sound like gibberish. That's cool. All right, so um, here's the thing. Usually when people talk about VR, uh, they talk about stuff that you can do in the real world, and then they say, oh, VR, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's like, you know, you could train someone to use a thing in, the VR, in, in VR, and then you don't have to actually train them in the real world, right? And, and that's cool. Um, but most of the examples that people give you for VR are things like here's a thing that we already have the ability to do and then here's the way we'll do it in vr and the vr way maybe it makes it a little easier or something like that but it's never like revolutionary kind of stuff that ends now what i would like to show you now is a, a, a different a different direction here for vr what if you could do something in vr that you cannot do in the real world now i'm going to raise the bar a little bit I'm going to do something today and in this next version of Glycon that you cannot do in the real world at all. You can't do it with traditional mocap. You can't do it at all. You just can't do this. You ready? You ready for this? Check this out. So we got these props, right? And you know, the whole point of the props was, well, if you got a prop like a table or something, oh, that's cool. Um, but I noticed that a lot of the people that were using Glycon immediately went out and created their own, they have like their own 3D environment that they have the character acting in. And I got to thinking about that. Uh, I'm like, uh, hey, um, you got these guys that are doing mocap and they take that mocap and then they, they have like a, a scene that they add the mocap to. Like if you, got a, if you got a guy that's walking around the office, you gotta put on your mocap suit, but scenario, simple scenario. Let's say you have a computer screen and you wanna record a guy walking up to it and patting it on the top and then pushing a button. Okay, so you put on your mocap suit you tell the actor, this fuzzy thing here in the real world, you gotta walk up to it and pat it on the top and do all this stuff. All right, great, so he does that. But then afterwards, you have to go in and, and manually reposition your 3D object to match the real world object. That's a pain in the ass, right? So here is my solution to that. Since we're in VR, since we already have a headset, and since we are seeing stuff through that headset, what if, what if, hear me out here, what if you could create your props and then export them? What if, more than just having props you can export, what if you could create props like this? What if you could just say, oh, well, right here, I want, uh, right here in front of me, I want to have a, uh, a little desk area here. I'm just going just gonna to draw out a little desk area. This is what I want right here. And this is going to be my keyboard. Actually, my keyboard will be a little shorter. It's just, I'm just going to block this out. This will be my keyboard. And then right here is going to be a touch screen. Oh, I'm outside my range there. Let's do that. Okay. So see, I'm sitting at my desk while I'm doing all this stuff. And you have to understand that I've got these uh, the Oculus um, cameras pointed at me here. If I was using a Vive, you know, with a room scale tracking, it would have a little different tracking setup. But one of the, the things is, I'm doing all this while I'm at my desk. I'm not standing up. I don't have a giant room that I'm working at, that I'm doing all this stuff in. This is my desk, like this area right here is what I have to work with. And here I've created my little, um, my little computer. So now, if I go into uh, to, to the record mode, and I can go in here and go, oh, let's type something on the computer. Do, 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 do. Oh, do you see this here? This is, this is really bad. Oh, a virus, a virus damn you computer right and then when i export this i'm gonna get rid of this so i can see my face when i export this it exports this too and i can take this straight in to medium or lightwave or maya or cinema 4d or moto or blender or iclone or anything else and i can swap it out with my higher res props so it's as easy as this to create my own props here in Glycon. Hi there. And, and basically interact with them. 
And see, this changes things. This is a, a situation where this is now a thing that you can't do in traditional mocap. You can't create your own props on demand. You can't export a perfect representation of this prop to your 3D file along with your mocap so that everything fits. Because when I go type right here and I export this as a recording, it's going to match 100%. My fingers will be right there on top of it, just like they are now while I'm doing the recording. That's, that's amazing. That changes things. And uh, for lefties, southpaws, I actually have it set so you can use both hands to create. Very easy. And the whole point here is I wanted to create a system that allows you to very easily create a world and interact with it and export the whole damn thing. So then you can go replace, you can swap out the body with your own higher res uh, mesh. And you can swap out all these props that you make with your own high res meshes. Make sense? That's it. This is coming in the next version of Glycon. Almost ready now. Uh, I will be in touch as, with all the existing users as soon as it's ready. And if you're not an existing user, you need to go to Liberty 3D. That is Liberty 3D uh, dot Oh God, uh, you, you, it, it'll, it'll be in the description. Liberty3d.com slash Glycon. That is how you find this. Ah, yeah. So, um, I am very interested in your feedback. I would like to know what you think. I want to know what your criticisms are. I want to know if you think I'm crazy. That's fine. Um, let me know. My name is Chilton Webb. My contact info is in the uh, description here somewhere. And um, I look forward to talking to you later. Thank you very much. Bye.